Hi Collective and welcome back you beauties. I want to be interested this November 11th thing going on, this 11-11 thing. I'm very interested to find out how this is going to affect the Divine Union's soulmate connection. So let's ask Spirit. Guys, thanks so much for your wonderful comments, your support. I truly appreciate you. And I appreciate every time you're leaving me these wonderful comments. It really helps the collective grow. It helps my vibrations. It helps each other's. And you guys are amazing. That's why you're divines, right? It's all positive vibes here, guys. What's this? portal this 11 11 going to reveal or bring in for these divine union spirit what can you tell us about these situations this divine masculine divine feminine portal uh, gateways being opened eclipses coming up what how is this going to affect these unions well a great big love A new chapter, a grand symphony, right in a new chapter in this book, either this love will be renewed and finished grand, or spirit is bringing in new love. It's all in the matrix, it's all in the works, and there is the lion. I think the lion is coming in, and that could be the lion's gate that we're talking about is going to expose and reveal everything. Bringing in a lot of financial wealth to a lot of people. New beginnings. Some earth magic being done. And all those that were sitting in the, in the land of indecision and a crossroads are all going to be exposed and revealed. All right. It's going to be some powerful moves being made here. It's a time of letting go. Anything, it's all going to be exposed and revealed. And it is time to let it go. What has ever been at a crossroads? There will be no in-between. It's one way or another. Mm. People are going to be seeing their self-worth, their values, their worth, you know, compassion being here, bringing in compassion, love of self, the keys are being presented for finding people's talents, wishes, awakening the geniuses within people, and laying down of burdens, and starting new foundations, bringing in peace and healing, and finding abundance, finding healing, finding self, the keys, sacred unions it's like the keys to unlocking a situation spirits coming in to expose and reveal everything so we have to be patient. We got to wait. And it's like anyone who is sitting at a crossroads, spirits telling them they're going to be exposed and revealed. You cannot be at the land in between. It's not solid. It will fall. It will crumble. It's being suspended up 
like in animation, it will fall. You go one, choose your route. Go left, go right, but you will not be allowed to stand at the land in between. It's going to be a time where people are going to be asking spirit for an, a second chance. Wipe the sleep clean. Have compassion upon me. Whoa. It'll be a time where maybe it's spirit who is going to be deciding who they will have compassion upon and those who won't. Some he will wipe the slate clean, I'm just saying. New chapters, new beginnings. That's like having compassion on the world, you know what I mean? But he will re expose and reveal and let go of. Things that are holding the world up, things that are preventing the world from going round, you know what I mean? It's all the stagnant, stale energy that's got to go. It's like progress has to be made. Hmm. Closures, giving closure to people, understandings, knowledges. It's freeing people, freeing people's hearts, giving them the choice to free themselves. Which way are you going to go? There's the key to this heart. Freeing people. There's a lot of big stuff coming in, guys. Which way are you going to go? why we're going to have be seeing a lot of towers with the karmics with divine unions who are not uh, making a choice that figure that they can sit at the land in between it's decision time and spirits coming in like to free people of these burdens Love, bringing love. Call of the muse, it's wake up time. You know, it's going to be beyond the ordinary. It's all going to be exposed, broken open, freeing people, close encounters. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like all the illusionists, all the ones that we were, were pretending, you know, um, all the ones that were pretending they were the rose, you know, being exposed and revealed. All the illusionists, the smoke in the mirror, spirit is going to make every person see. Expose all the illusions, all the fakeness. Oh yeah, people are going to be burdened. They're going to be made to choose. What's going on? That's why the towers. That's why the towers, guys. I know many of you have been heartbroken and sad and, you know, but I wouldn't want to be it when the real heavy towers hit, man. 
has endless possibilities here. People having to face the truth and see the truth within themselves and in others. It's going to reveal truth. Just got to hang together, guys, and realize it has a bigger purpose than what we are aware of. Like, it's not going to go on forever. Like, people who are being deceptive, illusionists, smoke and mirrors, fakes, all the masks are going to fall off and they will be exposed for who they truly are. We just have to be patient and wait and trust that the universe has our best interest at heart and that's why I think we're gonna see a lot of towers it's wake up time psychic abilities are going to be enhanced third eyes are going to be opened oh yes Well, whoever is these illusionaries, they're not going to see the prosperity. It's in reverse. Tender embrace. Love unions will be made right. There will be a tender embrace, a coming together. And those who do not, Honor, take the honored path, will not be seeing this prosperity. It's about commitments and forgiveness. Till people seek forgiveness, I'm telling you right now, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The courage to move forward, manifest passions. You can't keep people grieving. Spirit is going to give clarity and happiness. Home is here. Transformation, great and full. The spirit of gratitude. Being open to discovery that there's a, a power of purpose here. I mean, spirit just does not go around. You know, people tend to blame the universe every time something goes wrong. The universe didn't do anything wrong. The universe is like teaching us as we would teach our kids. You know what I mean? Not every choice that you make is healthy for you. So if you love your child, you try to correct them. And this is going to bring in a big correction. Ooh. Because spirit is actually very compassionate on the world for the world, has compassion for the world. So that's why he's going to expose and reveal things because people cannot sit at the land in between in the land of indecision. You got to choose your path. You know, you either go left or you go right. Which path are you choosing? And people, a lot of people are going to be asking for forgiveness and choose the right direction. Other people are going to be grieving because they're going to be have very heavily burdened. But I can tell you that all the illusionists are going to be exposed. All the smoke, all the mirrors, all the illusions, spirit will expose. Ooh, I'm not going there. That'll be for another topic. But Spirit has been reminding me for about three days now, and I've been toying it around, you know, the old debate of uh, spirituality versus religion, all that. Man, I'm going to be for real with you guys. I've gotten some of the nastiest comments that have ever been made by religious folk. That is the truth. 
my question to those people are, why are you watching tarot then? Like if we're evil and wicked tarot card readers and we are an abomination and all this hocus pocus crap, what the hell are you doing on a tarot channel? Watching. So it's hypocrisy, man. Complete, 100% hypocrisy. You know, I can call myself spiritual. You know, I was calling myself spiritual before I even knew really anything about spiritualism. <laughs> I'm very naive when it comes to that stuff, guys. Like I was calling myself spiritual when I was in my teens. Didn't even know what it was, to be real with you. Well, and it's a hypocrisy. I actually had um, like a reverend or a preacher, whoever they are, uh, tell me, well, it was a religious person who asked me, are you spiritual? I said, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what I am. <laughs> and this religious person said, well, anybody who believes in spirit is spiritual. And to me, it made total sense. So from then on, I called myself spiritual. Do you believe in spirit? Then you're spiritual. Even religious people believe in spirit. What the heck? Man, man has messed everything up, for real, for real. But, like, I've had to block people who come at me like this, and I'm like, you don't even know me. You're going to judge me because I read some tarot cards? How do you know that Spirit didn't give me that power to do that for this very reason? Like, we've got to stop this, man. I don't care if people are religious. I don't care if people are spiritual because not every, everyone who is spiritual is spiritual and not everyone who is religious is religious. I don't care what you call yourselves. I don't care what anybody puts a label on anything and said that's what I am. You know what? I didn't know what I was. I was blessed with a family and, and folks who didn't pressure me into being one way or another. I did, like I said, when I was about five, I asked, what would you really like for your birthday, Frankie? My folks never had a lot of money. They had nine kids to support. And what does this one do? You know what I'd really like? A Bible. I wanted a Bible, okay? My folks looked at one another and said, why do you want a Bible? Don't you want, like, what's your second choice, my dad said, on a cash register. <laughs> if you can't afford a Bible, I'd really like a cash register, one of those fake cash registers. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you. I am so glad I've been blessed with ignorance sometimes. I'm telling you, like, people insult me. I don't even know half the time that I've been insulted. <laughs> it's been my saving grace for real, for real. But I'm telling you guys right now, it's like I don't have any belief system to be real. I just know that there's something bigger out there than what we are. And when I get those intuitive messages, that's either myself telling me that, or it is something bigger out there cautioning me. I just know that my instincts have saved my bacon throughout my entire life. And I'm just saying, it don't matter about this religion, spirituality thing. Like, it's just doesn't matter, man. You know, we all bleed the same, right? We all hurt the same. Religious or not. Spiritual or not. 
<sighs> I've been blessed. I've had some good mentors in my life. I really have. For a religious person to say that to me said everything. Well, I, what what religion are you, Frankie? I said, well, I, I don't know. I really don't have one. When they said, well, do you believe in spirit? And I said, yes, I do. They didn't label me, well, you're a spiritualist then. Well, then you are a believer. I believe in spirit, so I believe in something. That's all I know. I, that's all I know for me, my personal thing. But what wise words? And that came from a religious person. So I don't know what everybody else's hang up is, but I'm not making it mine. I'm just trusting in the universe. And I am trusting in with my God-given gifts that I've been born with. And if the universe did not want me to have those gifts, I would not have those gifts. Period. And it will be a time. Do you have compassion? Yes, I do. It is what it is. You're supposed to honor yourself. Honor love and your commitments. Period. Somebody not going to like that? Too bad, so sad. Did spirit tell you to get into that relationship with that person who, if they were being abusive to you, spirit didn't put that together for you. Man put that together, not spirit, not the universe, guys. It's like the universe gets blamed for all the bad things that happen. But very rare do we give thanks to the Almighty for saving our arses. <laughs> many do, but many do not. And it's like, whatever. I don't really care who thinks they're right, who's wrong. It's not about that, because we're all going to have to figure it out one day anyway. <laughs> so, there's no sense, you know, just saying. It says in the Bible that God would prefer you to go left or to go right. Either way is cool. But that you're not allowed to sit in between. <laughs> that is going to be removed. And that's pretty straightforward. Swipe left, swipe right, don't care. He'd rather somebody go left and go the wrong direction than not take any direction at all. That I do know. All this stuff is because people cannot make a choice. All this hurt, all of this pain is because people cannot make a choice. You cannot serve two masters. You can't go left and then go right. Go left, go right, go left. You can't sit. You've got to choose. You either go left or you go right. But don't sit in the middle. Because that middle ground, it's not suspended too good and it will fall. And people who sit in the middle ground and cannot decide will fall. It's an illusion. It's smoke and it's mirrors. Well, I don't want to choose. Spirit don't care if you're religious. <laughs> what your religion is. He made you for Pete's sakes. Does he care if you go uh, left or right? No, just that you don't sit doing nothing. Stagnant. Staying in the middle, not making a choice. You will have to make a choice. You know, you can forgive people for going left or right. It doesn't matter. But don't sit in the middle ground. You will have to choose. Mm-hmm. 
And that's what we're being faced with on this journey. This illusion. It's an illusion. It's smoke and mirrors. Make a choice. And that's what this next year is going to be bringing in. Making people make a choice. Don't matter. You know, it really doesn't matter if you're religious or you're spiritual. It just doesn't matter. Because he will bring you all into the fold anyway. So what the heck? What's the debate about? Just make a choice for Pete's sake. How hard can it be? Working on a plan. Hmm. Hmm. Past. Contract. Hmm. Nurturing, loving children, being left out in the cold. Jeez, I'm just saying, I don't know what this is saying, this is getting heavy. It'll be revealed to me when it is... To be revealed to me because I can go really deep with this right now. That's why I'm like, <laughs> that's when I know spirits of, I could go real deep with this. We think as layman's, in layman's terms, like, we only see our own pain and our own circumstances, but spirit sees the big plan. He sees things or the universe sees things as protecting the planet. Protecting the children of the planet. We see our immediate frustrations, we see our pains our, of our daily lives and our personal journeys that we're on. Spirit sees us as children. Who are put on this earth to grow. To be nurtured. That's why we have certain contracts to uphold. You know what I'm saying? It was all for a bigger purpose, you know? What is this all about? People going around, leaving people out in the cold. Who the hell does that? If you're truly compassionate and have compassion for humanity, I don't know who does that. Just like abandon their responsibilities or abandon contracts trying to create illusions this is like something that should have been nurtured something that is an example for your children to see like setting good examples for others to see let alone your children 
and your children's children. Do you know what I mean? Like spirit sees it as We aren't intended to be alone. We weren't meant to be on this earth to be alone. Okay? I mean, unless you're these monks or these nuns who swear uh, religious <coughs> rites, we are meant to be partnered, to grow, to nurture. To nurture our children, to provide them shelter and safe haven and do our best to set examples for our future generations to see. And it's looking like that was the example that this divine union was supposed to set. Instead, you got emperors abandoning their responsibilities and feminines single mothers left raising children and working three jobs to feed the kids and everybody acting single and wanting to be single and independent and being left out in the cold well just saying people Pretending they're single when they're in a committed situation. It's got to stop. Like, it's free. You have freedom to be single if you choose to be single. There's nothing wrong with that. And spirit encourages it. You either be single or you work on your commitment. What do you want to do? But you can't sit going back and forth in between. One day you're committed, the next day you're not. Either be single and enjoy your singlehood. If you're in a union or a contract, work on that contract. If you choose to be single, then be single, but don't go back and forth creating kids all over the planet that have fatherless kids and motherless kids. Just, hey, I choose to be single, right? Cut out all the bullshit, right? Stop playing games. Make your choice. Choose your path. Singlehood or work on your union. That's pretty clear cut. If you can't make it work, you can't make it work. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes people get into contracts that spirit didn't choose for you anyway. It's so, like, then you wonder why it doesn't work. But it's like, make a choice. If you want to be single, spirit has absolutely no issue with that. That's your choice. But don't sit in a past life praying for a damned contract to be with the person you loved and then get here and ghost their ass. Wrong. <clears throat> That's what Spirit's saying. Don't know if I agree or disagree. Don't care. That's what the cards are saying. Yeah. End a situation properly. Do not go around ghosting people, abandoning people, creating abandonment issues and childhood scars and wounds for your kids to see and go through and endure. Just decide to do it right. If something isn't working, you can break a contract. But you have to do it correctly. You can't just like decide one day to be an a-hole and just like, did you talk to this person? Did you tell him your intentions? 
Did you tell him that you're planning to leave and make provisions for doing so? No, these people just don't make a choice. So they hurt people's hearts and they hurt people's kids and they hurt people's lives. They're actually hurting themselves by doing it by creating karma for themselves. So spirit saying, look, you can have a resolution here. You can come to a compromise here, but don't just be like abandoning people, okay? Make a resolution, just don't like disappear one day, right? Kids are sitting looking out the window waiting for their mom or their dad to come home. Where's my dad? Where's my mom? We're teaching our children some nasty ass things. Okay. You can do it fairly. There's a fair way to do it when you want to end the union. There is a fair and balanced way to do it where people don't have to go through all this heartbreak and heartache and, and all the pain that we acquire. Yes, it's going to be painful to end it, but it's done correctly and fairly and two people move on their own directions. The kids don't get hurt. People's hearts, yes, they hurt, but they heal faster. They don't like, you know, there's a right and a wrong way to do stuff. Mm. And making children angry and resentful and hateful toward one parent or another. It's got to go. It's just sad, man. Our world, this is our world. And this is what we're doing to it. We're making angry kids. I really don't care about the adults. <laughs> I don't. I care about the kids, though, that have to go and suffer the consequences of what their parents do. We understand what we're creating for generations. Generational curses, generational hurt, generational crap, man. It's got to stop. Every child deserves to be happy, period. If we don't stop it, every person is going to learn to mistrust. It creates trust issues, trauma bondings, all these other energies. You know, we can stop generational curses just because our parents did it doesn't mean we got to do it. We got to free ourselves from that mental trap because we are confusing our kids. We truly are. And it's unfair and it's unjust. So all everybody sits out there saying, well, this happened and, you, you know, and that happened and... Here's the kids looking out the window while their parents, mom's crying and dad's crying and dad's doing this and mom's doing that. And the kids are looking out the window going fucking nuts. They take it on their own shoulders. Kids put it on their own backs. Like somehow it's their fault, somehow. If I wasn't here, this wouldn't be happening. Like, this is major issues, man, that have been passed on from past lifetimes, past generations. It's our responsibility to break those cycles and make happy kids because our world is getting pretty darned corrupt. Just, you know, people sitting there worrying about their freaking money when they let their kids go play, 
at large somewhere and let the kids grow up some way sons following in daddy's footsteps here daughters following in mother's footsteps or whatever who's like befriending your kids Who's befriending your kids? Boys to men, girls to women, to motherhood, to wives, teaching our sons and our daughters. Some pretty nasty things. that song the children are dancing alone <laughs> who's that song is accurate because people are working so hard focusing in on the coin like the children are dancing alone <laughs> Makes cold people, cold souls. Makes them emotionally detached. It makes them go within. It makes them withdrawn. It makes them afraid, untrustful. It makes them afraid to love. And that's what we're experiencing with these divine masculine, divine feminine situations. It is childhood scars. It is past life generational curses that have been passed down. Who knows how many lifetimes. But, well, I did that because my dad did that. Or I did that because my mom did that. Or I did this because, this, you know, it's just the way it is in our community. Or it is done this way. We're influencing our children to be cold and detached from their emotions. And that's scary because that creates sociopaths and psychopaths and very cold-hearted individuals. And we need to stop it. Yeah, heartbreak card wanted to show. We're breaking our kids' hearts. I don't care about ours right now. Spirit's talking about the children. And there will be hell to pay for heartbreak. And I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. We're influencers. Um, we mold our kids into women and men. And if we keep breaking people's hearts we are teaching our sons and our daughters that hurting people doesn't matter they become so hurt that they detach from their emotions and look at real love as hurtful or something that should be mistrusted and that they have to remain detached from. So we're teaching our youngsters here. Not everybody. Don't get mad. Just as a worldwide thing. Okay. We're teaching our youngsters to be cold. To be heartbreakers. Because they were heartbroken. We're teaching them to be emotionally detached because we are emotionally detached. We as in a generality, don't get offended. We as a people, as a human race, will get karma. That's why karma is coming because 
it's like it's getting out of control. People are thinking it's free reign to do whatever they want. It's freedom of will. It's freedom of choice. <laughs> yeah, but it all comes with a price to pay. We can raise our children, even if we're single parents and we go our own directions. That's fine. That's allowed, especially if you're unhappy. Because we want our children to be raised happy. And children need stability, not brutality. It's generational. It's generational and it is time to break those generational patterns and habits. It just because your mother or your father did it this way doesn't mean you got to do it that way. We got to trust our instincts, but the more that spirit allows it to continue, the colder and colder that our children are growing from boys to men and women, uh, girls to women are getting that... People have lost empathy. Emotionally detached human beings who have and lack empathy from all their scars of being hurt. Whoa, deep. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a love read. Well, I guess it is love. <laughs> how to love ourselves. How to love our children and raise them up to be loving, gentle, kind men and women for future generations. Mm -hmm. But people like to sit and get ruled by their passions Smoke and mirrors, man. It's still an illusion. No, but oh, it's not going to hurt anybody. What's that going to do? That won't hurt anybody. Ooh. You're making an unstable situation for somebody by your actions. One way or another, it all goes down the pipeline. Starts at the top and falls at the bottom. And someone is always left to pick up the pieces. It's an illusion. It's a lie we tell ourselves. Oh, I won't bother anybody. Oh, what's a little cheating gonna do? Or what's, you know, what's this gonna hurt? Or what's, it's what we tell ourselves, man. That's how we create players. For real, men or women. It's making the world unstable in spirit's view. Playing with people's emotions, playing with people's minds, playing with people's hearts is making our world unstable. And if you don't think spirit won't come and make a correction, you are wrong. Our jails are full. Our world is corrupt. <laughs> People are hurting. That is somebody who is completely void of empathy that is what we are creating void of empathy very dangerous that's a dangerous game foolish is what it is and it's risky
you know, you got to have a coming together. People got to work together. You know, I'm just saying, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a plan. There's got to be something that somebody is able to do here besides... Someone's sitting there offering. What the hell is this? There's a skull sitting on the table. Candle magic. Death spells. What is a corrupt world? Sending these little craftsmen out here in the world to make it unstable. What the hell is this? You think you're not going to get your karma for that? These are people that are unstable. These are people that create illusions. These are people that intend to hurt other people I am talking about. Yeah. Yes. So what are you saying here, Spirit? What Spirit is saying, okay, that is the message we are sending to our children. Multiple lovers, we're telling our kids that it's okay to break hearts. I don't care if they're male or female. People who are using like spell work, to snare somebody, there is a price to pay for breaking someone's heart. I, I'm serious. I'm not even joking here, guys. I couldn't make this up if I tried. I was expecting a love read. But I guess it's Spirit's view. I asked, what is this next year going to bring in that's what's being brought in. Karma. All these people that sit there working their craft work to snare people, to break up unions, to mind control, to mind fuck people, play games with people's minds, hearts, souls. It's making our world unstable. It's making people unstable. Emotionally detached and cold individuals. Those are your sociopaths. Those are your, your dangerous folk. And there will be a result that happens. A consequence of it. It's nasty ass, man. People's greed. Uh huh. I need attention. Give me all. What are you doing it for? Attention? I don't even care if you got kids. Somebody's kid heard about it. Somebody's kid saw it. Somebody's grandkids might have seen it, or somebody's neighbor kids might be watching the whole thing go down. Because there are freaking eyes everywhere. You can't walk down the street without somebody knowing what you're doing. Alright? Acts of greed and selfishness, self-indulgence. Stressing people out, creating nightmares, creating anxiety and stress in people's lives. Man, we're losing our shit in the world. Because if you can't even lay in your own bed. Just saying.
the law of attraction here, guys. What about being passionate about family? What about being passionate about happiness? <laughs> And making happy families. That's where if people are going to be out there eliciting passions, that's what they should enlist and enlist is being passionate about the family unit because it's breaking the frick apart <laughs> and we are creating our own monsters. Things will be balanced out on earth as it is in heaven. That simple. It will be balanced out. And you can't sit and sit here stale and stagnant. Spirit saying, make your choice. Who are you going to serve? <laughs> Spirit saying you're going to feed your lust or you're going to feed your kids. <laughs> Think about it. You will reap what you sow. Death, chaos, it's what one person's master serves. Chaos, death, backstabbing, hurt, pain. We're creating our own monsters and we will self-destruct. And those who are out here thinking, ah, it don't mean nothing. Better think again. Because it will backfire on you. One way or another. In some place, at some time, in some lifetime. That's why we're paying for it in this lifetime, guys. Because of past lifetimes. So why repeat the same thing over when there could be people happy, happy units, happy kids playing in the yard, counting their blessings, slick, we achieved it, we got the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow here, it's doable. It's very doable. By listening to spirit, we are all given higher guidance. We are all given higher knowledge, higher learning. If we tap into it, we all have it. I was not expecting this, guys. So forgive me talking, but my guides are telling me what to say. I'm telling you, I'm completely lost here. I'm just completely trusting what they're telling me. You would never get me to say this stuff. I'm telling you. Because everything has a consequence. Every damn choice we make has a consequence this is the truth spirit is saying wait wait for what spirit think maybe <laughs> i don't know what are you saying wait for 
Hmm. What? Hmm. Wait, because something is going to transform or look, look out, look out. Transformation is out there. Rebirth is out there. Surrender and transform. Whoa. Think. Wait. What is this? Look at your foundation. You can transform it. I see everybody pretty happy celebrating in this card. This is a solid foundation. You can have a solid foundation. You can transform any foundation. If you're passionate about that, you're going to carry, turn your back on it. Or are you going to rebuild it? Whoa. It's a legacy. Told you it's generational. We can teach our values to our kids to give them a healthy foundation. Or we can have one that falls apart with karmic debts. Good debts or karmic debts. What do you choose? You can teach a legacy. You can teach. You can have a solid foundation. That's what Spirit is saying. Each person is entitled to a solid foundation. But these generational things, man, that are passed on from lifetime to lifetime, got to go. Enough. Like, when do we decide enough is enough? How many people got to get hurt before people say, I've had enough. I want a happy life. I want a solid home. I want a real foundation. And those people, you know, I think you're going to get blessed. I honestly do. Those people who've been ridiculed for their belief systems or had to endure all these pains and sufferings needlessly. Like, we all have tragedies in our life that can't be avoided. But I don't. Just saying. We choose our own foundations. We choose our own path. And instead of like going out there and choosing anybody at random, why not let spirit make the choice of who, who you're intended to be with? And even people now are like, uh, you got a twin flame union that has a worldly purpose to uphold. And they're even breaking those due to people doing weird shit, man. And it's just no good. And it'll be put an end to all this deception. All this deception. Just saying. Thieves, liars, cheats. What the hell are you doing? You cheat yourself. You know, you will get your karma comes around goes around and that's what spirit is at him it is time to change this kind of personality get out of this energy cheating lying stealing the people who do all that are stealing and cheating and lying cheating in themselves because you're passing on generational curses to your kids man just saying and what comes around goes around. And that's what this is saying. 
stand on a solid foundation and build a solid life for yourself, single, coupled, or in between, it doesn't matter as long as it's solid. A solid home is a happy home, period. So, I don't know. This is a heavy lesson. I don't even know. <laughs> I think I'm done here, guys. This is like, I appreciate it because it's coming from spirit. I'm telling you, yeah. Reconciliations can happen, but this thing got to go. This Seven of Sword crap got to go by the wayside. Or it'll come back and bite your ass. Yeah, this is like third party crap, uh, sexual encounters, all that. Not caring if somebody gets STDs. Not caring about the kids and what happens to them and whose heart you're breaking. That, that, that's like high school shit, man. Really? It is. Elementary kids, school kids know better. All right? You ask any four-year-old that they'll tell you more. Be strong, because what comes around goes around. Get out of your ego and stay guarded. Protect your investments. Protect your, you know, whatever it is you care about. Value it enough to protect it. So people going on around the world here, man, screwing everything, having unprotected sex, man, you are playing Russian roulette in today's world. It's Russian roulette. Mm -hmm. It all has a price to pay, okay? You accumulate karmic blessings or you will accumulate karmic debt. I guess Spirit's Bank is full. Debts and blessings. And maybe the debts are outweighing the blessings here. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody going to be blessed with abundance. I'm just saying, new, nurture your world. Nurture whatever that world is. I don't care if you got a cat or a plant. Look after it. It's just simple, guys. Somebody has got to face their demons, ma'am, in a big way. Can't hide from spirit. This is a soulmate connection. These are close connections. Don't care if it's a soulmate or not. It's partnerships. People that are close to you. Honor them. You're brought together for a reason. It's like you can have a soulmate in a child, a pet, a neighbor, a friend. You don't need to be coupled to have a soul mate. These are just how to form closely bonded connections. Okay? By this nurturing. You need to nurture any connection if you want it to stay. You have to plant the seeds and water it. You know? You got to look after your garden, man. And this is how to have solid unions you got to look after one another don't care who the soulmate is you look after one another and nurture one another care and provide for one another and that's how you grow something beautiful and that's just the way it is and spirits right into that i don't care who you pray to that's what we should be praying for. This is balancing things out. Positive and negative, good and bad. When we have it all in our world, that's why it's so important to have close connections. 
and and form strong bonds and strong relationships it's a strong start for kids it is it's a strong start it gives you a stable foundation there's so many of our kids that are being born into like um they got three strikes against him before they're even born. You know what I mean? Sad. You gotta fight for it, man. It's like, yeah, cut out the bullshit, man. Just saying. We're teaching our youth to be violent, okay? Parents that run out of them, walk away on them. It builds anger issues, man. We're talking at a very young age. It builds anger issues within people. Just chill, folk. Chill. Don't get angry. Chill. I'm proud of... I know a lot of people that have been born with three strikes against them and they beat all odds. Everybody used to give up on them and say, oh, they're high risk or they're this, labels, labels, labels on every goddamn thing there is. You know what? It only takes one to believe in you to change a life. For real, for real. It just takes one. You know? I had a teacher that believed in me. I did. She changed my life. So for anybody, you could change a life. But we're teaching our youth to be violent. I'm telling you, these violent people grow up to be adults. And what do you think that they're going to be? <sighs> a burden. <laughs> That's what they're going to be. Don't ignore it. They feel rejected. It's how they learn to manipulate, to get attention. And the whole world comes crashing down around them. Teach our children how to be balanced. I'm telling you how to love, how, you know. Hmm. Interesting. What does this mean? That's how we create karmic spirit is saying. Hmm. That's how we create karmics. Lack of love. They're seeking attention, seeking love. That's how we create karmics. Hmm. Pray for the karmic. That's what spirit's saying. Don't shoot the messenger. Pray for the karmics. Because these karmics were once little children who had probably a pretty nasty upbringing that's why they're karmic -y in nature I'm supposed to pray for them and love them because that's why they are karmic -y. they're on the search and the quest for love because they've never had it that what makes them karmics for real just pray for them you don't gotta love them you don't gotta you know, go heal them or nothing like that. Just send them a, a good prayer that they find their way. You know what I mean? You will attract some good karma towards you and sending out some good vibes and juju into the atmosphere and the earth. It's okay to be angry. Angry. Anger is a natural response. It is, we're born with it. <laughs> It's a natural thing that we have, but not to like perpetuate it. You know what I mean? Wow. I got a lesson today, guys.
I guess that's how the old saying goes. Forgive thy enemies as they trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We're all creatures on this earth. Some of them are way out of control, but I'm trusting the Spirit's going to handle that and that I don't need to. But I can certainly tell you I will protect my home and I will protect what I believe. As I know you will too, Collective. And I know that you are going to, because that's why you're divine. You all know that. And it's just a reminder, I guess, Spirit's given us a, a little reminder about these divine unions and the purpose that is behind it. To not forget the plan. Don't forget what the purpose was behind it. We can still do it on our own, we, even without our counterparts. But I can tell you right now that it's just more powerful if people uphold the contracts, you know. And we lose sight of it. We get into the earthly uh, way of thinking and we forget all about the darn purpose behind why we made the contract. And it is to heal our world. It is to help our world, our universe. This is where we live. This is where we reside. And how do we help our children grow up to be strong humans and give them the best survival techniques and guidance that we can? And it doesn't mean that you even got to know a child. It just means you got to care enough for the future generations to change and it always starts with us it starts with us leading by example being good mentors being good guides i really love it i i i'm encouraged i was not expecting that reading guys i hope it encourages you you're on the right path and it's just spirit reminding you it was not for nothing you have served a purpose it was not all in waste and haste here. There was a lot learned. Give yourselves the recognition and the pat on the back because it's people like you that are changing the world. Take care, guys.